let's discuss insurance claims anything we own we can lose so risk follows ownership whatever we own we can lose and the business unit usually owns and which it can lose are the assets the profit and the stock these are the things which it owns and it could lose the loss could be due to floods or earthquake or it could be due to tsunami or various reasons and it also could be due to fire loss of stock due to fire loss of stock due to fire is the portion covered for your second sem syllabus the risk can be shifted to another person and that another person is called insurance company the insurance company who covers the risk for you is called the insurer and the person who is shifting the risk that is you you are called the insured the insurance company is going to do, give the service for a price that price is called premium this premium is paid on a periodical basis it could be paid on a monthly basis quarterly half yearly or yearly so as far as the premium is paid the policy is live and things keep going on it keeps going on till there's some fire in the premises of the insured and there is loss of stock so when there is loss of stock next thing that what the person insured person is going to do is going to he is going to claim this loss from the insurance company so now we are concerned with how do we ascertain the amount of loss which can be claimed from the insurance company we are focusing on ascertainment of loss the ascertainment of loss can happen when the books are properly maintained and updated then the loss of stock can be ascertained as per books if the books are not updated or they are lost due to fire then loss of stock is ascertained by preparation of a memorandum trading account now let us get into the problem proper here i've got a set of rules which is prepared and designed to sort out or it's going to help you work out your problems in this in your syllabus i'll just quickly run through this cost of goods sold is sales minus gp or it is it's a trading account format where we have opening stock on the left hand side and we have purchases on the left hand side so it's opening stock plus purchase on the debit side minus closing stock which is on the credit side the balancing figure is what we get as cost of sales closing stock of the trading account is the opening stock of the memorandum trading account the company usually says in the problem sometimes it says that the company usually undervalues the stocks if it undervalues the stocks then the correct value of the stock could be found out by using the formula stock into 100 divided by 100 minus rate we are going to use the minus sign when the stocks are undervalued whenever there is undervaluation we use minus we deduct and when the stocks are overvalued we use the plus sign so the stocks are overvalued this is if this is 100% stocks have been taken at more than 100% that's why we'll have to deduct this denominator gets divided by higher value now next concept is 1 by n of cost price cp means cost price is equal to 1 by n plus 1 of selling price in other words whatever we have here as a denominator for the cost price the selling price would be one higher digit than the new than the denominator for cost price so if this is n this will be n plus 1 you will get more ideas when we start working out problems this is just a formula it will get life only when you start seeing the problems the word salvaged means value of stock saved gp ratio can be arrived as follows there are various methods of arriving at the gp ratio in the problem when the gp gross profit of the past few years are given we should average the given gross profit 
and take the average gross profit for our calculation purpose, for the purpose of memorandum trading account. When the gross profit and sales of the past few years are given, then we should take the GP for each year and then take average of the gross profit. The, bal the third method of finding out gross profit is balancing figure of the trading account. It could be any one of the methods, it's not all three of the methods, either this method or this method or this method depending on what is given in the problem. 